What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and it has been months since the tragic incident that occurred on the set of Rust, where Alec Baldwin shot and killed a woman, Helena Hutchins, and injured the director, Joel Souza. And we have been all over the map when it comes to this, from people thinking, well, it must have just been a prop gun, some freak accident, to, well, actually, no, there was a live round that was in there, to Alec Baldwin going to do an interview after claiming he couldn't speak to anyone, and proceeding to lie to the entire country and the world world about what happened. He was called out by the sheriff's office. He was called out by the prosecutor. Several lawsuits have been filed against Alec Baldwin and against a lot of other people on the set of Rust, including the production company. But one person or one group of people that were yet to do anything were the family of the woman who died, of Helena Hutchins. Well, that has now come today. Alec Baldwin sued by the family of late Rust cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Lawyers for Helena Hutchins' family filed a wrongful death suit Tuesday against Alec Baldwin while releasing a chilling video reenacting the movie set shooting that occurred the cinematographer. And we're going to play a little bit of that. I don't want to play too much because honestly, chilling is a pretty good way to describe it. They did an animated reenactment of what happened and it's, it's kind of tough to watch, especially knowing what happened since then. The eerie footage, an animated version titling Killing of Helena Hutchins on the set of Rust, uses computer-generated figures of Baldwin and others on the faded film shoot that day. It includes the moment the star allegedly pulled the trigger of what was supposed to have been a prop gun with blanks. There are many people culpable, but Mr. Baldwin was the person holding the weapon that but for him shooting, she would not have died. And if you have paid attention to any of this over time, when you've listened to Alec Baldwin's excuse... There's no conceivable way he did not pull the trigger. We know what he said. Oh, I was pulling the hammer back. I was pulling the hammer back. That cannot happen with that weapon unless there's some sort of catastrophic mechanical failure, which would be evident to the police that are investigating this. How have we not got charges yet? That's the other question. How, have, how are we not done with this police investigation yet? That's a different story. You know, maybe that will come at some point. But this was the big lawsuit that so many people were waiting for. Baldwin has significant portion liability, but there are others. And that's what this case is going to be about. Assessing fair apportionment to whoever's responsible for this senseless tragedy. Baldwin is accused of firing the single bullet that hit and killed Hutchins. Well, I mean, he might be accused of that. But that's obviously what happened. Clearly, that's what happened. He's admitted to that. He just wants to argue about whether or not he pulled the trigger or where he just released the hammer and the gun went off, according to him, just magically, mysteriously. Um, here is some of this. I want to show you guys a, a little bit of this. Uh, let's back this up. Here you go. Watch this. This is kind of the chilling music that's involved with some of this. And I'll stop it right there, but you can kind of get the picture. And this is just a portion of it. There's parts that are narrated. The parts go into great detail. There's parts that go into like great detail about when the gun is fired and where it goes, like where the bullet penetrates, like all these things. Um, chilling is absolutely the right word for it. Uh, the footage explains there are simple ways to tell whether a bullet is live before it's fired. The lawyers claim Baldwin refused weapons training on how to perform the cross draw, which was the type of action he was supposed to do. Randy McGinn, a lawyer from Albuquerque, who's also representing the family, said she is confident that a New Mexico jury will be able to understand the complexities of this case, which could go to trial in two years we're used to people coming into town to play cowboy who don't know how to use these weapons. The jury in Santa Fe is used to that and understands that even on a dude ranch, you don't hand somebody a weapon until you've given them safety training. And Alec Baldwin, for his part, has responded to this. Alec Baldwin's attorney calls claims actor was reckless on Russ set entirely false. Hutchins' family lawyer claimed Baldwin was responsible. 
Every, and this is the response that Alec Baldwin's lawyers released. Everyone's hearts and thoughts go out, uh, remain with the Helena's family as they continue the process. We continue to cooperate with authorities. No, that's, that's BS, hold on. You refused to turn in your phone for over a month after they got a warrant to check it. You refused, Alec Baldwin. Stop trying to pretend, and his lawyer needs to stop trying to pretend like they're just the good guys. We're doing everything the police want. We're completely cooperating now. You're doing everything you can to spin PR in your favor because you always knew that this would potentially be a possibility. Any claim that Alec was reckless is entirely false. We're going to see, aren't we? We are going to see. There is so much to break down, and we've obviously talked a lot about this case. I don't know how many, um, you know, there's a shot of Helena right there. Again, thoughts go with her and her family. We've talked about this so much on this channel, all the twists and all the turns that have gone through. This is the latest one. This is a shoe that a lot of people were waiting to drop. And now, finally, the family of the, the victim herself, Helena Hutchins, is actually filing a wrongful death lawsuit. As more time has gone on, it's clear that Alec Baldwin is hiding, that he is spinning, that he has been trying to lie to everyone about what happened on the set that day. And now hopefully, you know, they get to the bottom of everything that happened that day and Alec Baldwin pays in some way, shape or form. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.